Welcome to Frank Speaks. Today, we delve into the incredible story of Hassan, a 15-year-old hero who fearlessly sacrificed his life to save his school from a suicide bomber. His bravery and selflessness has inspired the world. And today, with this very video, we honor his extraordinary courage. Join us as we delve into the compelling narrative. Hassan Bagash was born between 1998 and 1999, died on the 6th of January, 2004. He was a Pakistani student who died on the 6th of January, 2014, while preventing a suicide bomber from entering a school at Hanku village. More than 2,000 students were attending classes at the time of the incident. The institution was later renamed to Hassan Shahid High School. His death anniversary is observed annually throughout Pakistan on the 6th of January. His life is covered by biographical film salutes. Hassan's successful efforts in saving his classmates captured the heart of the nation and he was hailed as Sahid and a national hero. Later, the government of Pakistan posthumously awarded him Star of Bravery. He was named as the Herald's Person of the Year for 2014. Hassan's father is Majahid Ali, who was in the United Arab Emirates as at the time of the attack. It was typical for men in this impoverished region to go abroad, including the Gulf region, to provide for their family. The teenager was known for openly criticizing armed radical groups. On the 6th of January 2014, Hassan was outside the school gates of his government high school in Hangu with two other schoolmates. Hassan had not been allowed to attend the morning assembly due to his tidiness that day. One account states that around this time, a 20 to 25 year old man approached the gates and stated he was there to take admission. One of the students noticed a detonator on the man's vest, whereupon Hassan's schoolmates ran inside, possibly to raise the alarm, while Hassan confronted the suicide bomber, who then detonated his vest. According to other accounts, Hassan was on his way to school when he spotted a suspicious person. When Hassan tried to stop him, he started walking fast towards the school. In an attempt to stop the bomber, Hassan threw a stone, which failed to hit him. Then Hassan ran towards the person and behogged him, prompting the suicide bomber to detonate his explosive vest. Hassan died at the scene. No other students were harmed. Hassan's father said his son made a sacrifice to save the lives of others. He said my son made his mother cry or save hundreds of mothers from crying for their children. Scores of people attended his funeral to pay their respects. A floral welt was laid on the grave of Hassan on behalf of the Pakistani army chief. Hassan's story led to an outpouring of emotion on television and on social media. Hassan treaded on Twitter. A Facebook page has been set up in tribute to his credit. The Minister for Information in the Pakistan province where this happened, Sa Farman, said that Hassan was a real hero and true face of the people. Pakistan Chief of the Army Staff General, Rahil Sharif, said that Hassan is a national hero who has sacrificed his today for our tomorrow. Another prominent Pakistan teenager and education activist who was the winner of the 2014 Nobel Peace Prize, described Hassan as brave and courageous and said his bravery must not be forgotten. On January 12th of 2014, the government of Pakistan announced the establishment of Hassan Fund, a trust fund for Hassan's family. On January the 14th of the same year, the provincial governmental representatives announced that a RX 5 million package for the family of the team and renamed his school as the Hassan Saeed High School. A hostel constructed at the College of EME was named after him as well. 
a 2016 Pakistani biographical film directed, written and produced by Sash Zad and starring Ali as Hassan was also produced all in preserving the memory of Hassan. Many people demanded that a similar award be awarded to Hassan posthumously. The office of the Pakistan Prime Minister then recommended the President to confer Hassan with a high civil award, Star of Bravery. The award was received by Hassan's family on the 23rd of March during Pakistan's National Day. On January the 12th of 2014, the International Human Rights Commission bestowed the Global Bravery Award on Hassan. Hassan was named as Herald's Person of the Year in 2014. Herald's annual Person of the Year project set out to recognize those individuals in Pakistan who had a profound influence on the news and who embodied for good or ill what was important about the year. Hassan, whose sacrifice attained further recognition after the 16th December attack in an army public school emerged as the winner in a three-way voting process that included online voting, postal ballots, and imputes from a panel of 10 eminent Pakistanis. Herald's Person of the Year for 2014 pays tribute to Hassan, writing, Our country is blessed with brave people. The story of Hassan reflects the courage and bravery of many people in Pakistan. He was an average student from Hangu, a remote town in northwestern Pakistan, but he has become a national hero. Hassan, 14, stopped a suicide bomber from entering his school on a Monday morning and sacrificed his life to protect his fellow students. I saw Hassan trying to get hold of a guy. Then there was a big explosion. Habib Ali, who is a senior teacher at the school, said the target of the bomber was the morning assembly of approximately 450 students Ali also added, he was an average student, but was a bold child, the teacher said. Today, in a statement, Pakistan Prime Minister recommended him, as stated earlier, for the award of bravery. Thousands of people thronged his home since the incident to praise his bravery and to offer condolence to his family. He has left his family grieving, but has prevented many others from that fate said his teacher, a statement echoed by his father. If it wasn't for Hassan's act of bravery and quick thinking, the result would have been catastrophic. Hassan is Pakistan's latest student to become a hero for standing up to terrorists. Malala was 14, an outspoken advocate of educating girls when a Taliban gunman boarded her school bus and shot her in the head and neck. She survived and wrote a book, I Am Malala, the girl who stood up for education and was shot by the Taliban, and has become a worldwide icon for her defiance. Pakistan schools are regularly targeted by terrorists, and school enrollment figures have been dwelling. Thank you for joining us as we pay tribute to Hassan, a remarkable individual whose heroic action continues to resonate with people worldwide. If you were moved by Hassan's story, don't forget to like this video, share it, and also subscribe to Frank Speaks for more inspiring content. Let's keep spreading the message of courage, sacrifice, and standing up against injustice, irrespective of the location or who is involved. Until next time, stay inspired. Preach the gospel of Frank Speaks wherever you go.